Welcome to Love TCL, Scorpion 72, and today we're going to be doing a review of Arrow TV series Malcolm Merlin. So here's another example of a figure that was supposed to be released way back in, uh, I think, January, February. Um, don't know why the delay was, but um, he's here now, kind of late. Um, he comes in the box packaging, has his name on the side. Has a face, as uh, a picture of the action figure, not actually the actor, which they seem to be doing that a lot lately. Um, on the back, it shows you the other figures that's supposed to be in this series, which I believe is in series uh, three or four now. I've kind of lost track, but either way, you can see we have a jump in numbers once again, because this is figure number 12, and they have yet to release Arrow season three. Which is funny because they just already show you uh, the promo and uh, solicitation for Arrow Season 4. And here we have Black Canary that is also supposed to be out. These, these figures are all supposed to be out early, early this year. Like January, February as I mentioned earlier. So they're on the way. I think Black Canary is still scheduled to come out at the end of this month in July. And Arrow Season 3 is kind of... Uh, I haven't seen anything about him yet. But I'm guessing he'll come out the same time she does. Anyway, without further ado, let's open up this figure and see what he's all about. Um... So, as I mentioned in, in my intro, um, they did do Dark Archer. Um, one of the benefits that they missed out on is that all they needed was like a swappable head or something like that. So basically what you're getting is pretty much the same figure, just with no hood and no mask. So you get the uh, likeness of John Barrowman, um, which is very well done, I must say. Um, same thing that goes for us uh, is articulation. I'm going to leave the bow here for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, heads on the ball joint, left, right. Arms on the ball joint. Same thing with the wrist. Uh, I mean, the elbow. Single joint, the elbow, and swivel. Same thing with the wrist. Um, he has a waist swivel. He has leg articulation. This is kind of soft plastic, but it's very rigid, so it kind of hinders his movement. So you have to kind of really turn his leg a bit to the side. Uh, here he has double jointed knees. Um, there's no boot swivel here. There's an ankle pivot and ankle rocker. Uh, looks like him. Has the same uniform and everything like that. Uh, this is like a soft plastic right here. Now he comes with one bow and arrow. So, oh, the bow and one arrow, which I still understand why they just this just decide just don't color the arrow because it looks like a green arrow's arrow. So we kind of get a more of green arrow's arrows if you want to add to that. They just could have left it uh, uncolored or match the black arrows up here because none of the arrows back here are colored. Uh, doesn't fit in there. I'm trying to see if it does. Ah, there we go. There we go. Got it. So, the arrow does fit in there. Uh, let's see. Or maybe not. Or maybe I just made a hole and now it's stuck. And yeah, it looks like it may be actually stuck. No. Got it. Okay. Maybe it's something you guys shouldn't try. <laughs> so. Comes with his uh, one arrow and his bow. Uh, his hand can actually aim the bow in a direction. Let me make sure I got the bending part. You just twist like this. Uh, get it. He has his fingers already set to actually hold the bow. Or I should say the bow cord, the good drawstring. Uh, just put it underneath his fingers like that. Get him a good angle that you want, and then you can slip the arrow in between his fingers, and there you go. He is ready to draw his bow and fire it. Now, the thing that I'm going to complain about this figure, yes, I am going to complain about this figure, is that <coughs> seeing how this is just a redone of the Dark Archer, just right here. 
as you can see, it uses the same DC collectibles buck, which makes sense because it's basically the same kind of character, just the same as the rest of the League of Assassins. But a swap of a head would have solved this problem a long time ago, giving you more um, value for the figure rather than just having to get a new one. This is um, Marco Merlin, who became Raz al Ghul. It would be nice if they gave him a sword because he does still even use the sword now today and he had the sword in, in the last like two seasons. Um, not the actual one with Ra's al Ghul, but just a sword in general, he does carry one. So unless they're basing this off his first appearance from season one, okay, but then could have had a sword, could have had changeable hands, that would have been neat um, to have changeable hands. And he could have even like a rubber a flexi mask to just put on so you could put in like you know you take off the mask or you draw for him because basically if you want him to be basically you have to have that dark archer and him and you know but the, the plus side about that if you get a couple of dark archers which I have like two you can have them as his soldiers his minions there that are following his command so that's a little plus for there but other than that He's, he should have came for a little bit more, maybe another one or two arrows would have been nice. Something a little bit more would have been nice for this figure, other than just getting the same figure with a new head. Like I said, if you manage to get yourself some more of the Dark Archers, they really look cool standing next to Malco Merlin. Um, here he is encountering Oliver Queen and Diggle, probably in their hideout, which he always seems to find. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I might have to pick up some more of these Dark Archers so I can still find them because they really do look cool standing next to Malcolm. Create your own little army. Um, looks like he's trying to strike a deal. And it holds really, really well together once you get them uh, all in a uh, set. And of course, I think the last pick is my favorite where it looks like he should really keep a very close eye and not fully trust Malcolm Merlin because he might be up to something. So he should be available at comic book shops, online retailers. He just was released uh, this past week. So you're a fan of the Arrow TV show and a fan of figures, of course, I do recommend picking them up. Um, if not, hey, it might be a pass for you. Maybe you like the Dark Archer just without showing his mask. But then again, you know, one or two of these guys get a suit body or something like that. You can have them in a suit. You know, sky's the limit. Scorpion 72 review of Malcolm Merlin from DC Collectibles telling you to enjoy your toys. Until next time, keep playing. Ciao.